institution is yes. I think certain legislations also need to be seriously looked at. For example, if I may go back to J.S. Tisnagam's case, I do not want to comment on the judgment itself, but I would like to note the fact that this is the first time that a Sri Lankan journalist has tried under the PTA. And that particular piece of legislation has been criticized for so long. First of all, I would have expected the government to, you know, not show mercy, but to show confidence, to show some sense of responsibility and perhaps to prove that piece of legislation. There's been some kind of campaigning some time back. So this is the right time. You can try journalists under the normal law. You don't need the PTA. PTA is meant for terrorists. So if, if this is a country that has eradicated terrorism, can we have more regular laws? I think so. And the sad thing is, as a region, we seem to be doing this. I, I do media monitoring in South Asia. And when I look at Sri Lanka, the only heartening thing is that Pakistan seems to be worse at certain times. And that's not a great comparison. As a region, we seem to be no longer um, you know, able to honor democracy and uh, value it. We speak about uh, long histories, you know, 2,005 years ago, you know, major culture and all that. So where does it get reflected? I mean, you need to see it visibly. You, know, it, you need to see it in your people and how, they, how people treat other people, how they treat their minorities and how we politically behave as uh, citizens, individuals, as societies, little communities. And I don't see that happening. I think there is something called the post Lasantha era, because after Lasantha's assassination, the message was very clear. Most journalists and activists had a real thing. Some of them fled the country. This place was no longer safe for some people, some dissenting people, whether they were activists, um, NGO workers, journalists, academics, intellectuals, you name it. You know, people really felt, felt frightened. So the sad thing about Lasantha's assassination is that post Lasantha, nobody speaks about other journalists. He carried this banner for so long, it was like bearing someone else's cross all the time. I do know this very well, because I've been writing story after story about other people coming under attack. And he always said, write that story. Somebody got to do that writing. And it was trying, it was difficult. But even after his assassination, we tried doing that. But also, I would hold the government responsible for one very special thing. Some 40 odd journalists have been assaulted, killed, and abducted during the past three years. There have been not a single investigation has been concluded. I would like to ask why. I have listed it out. I have sent it to the Inspector General of Police because I was doing one investigation with a team uh, of the Sunday leader. Uh, we listed it out. We spoke to each of these relevant police stations and said, Do justice. These people, some of these people, 11 of them are there. 27 were assaulted, a dozen others abducted. It's a horrible story from an I, I island nation of 20 million people. So the least they can do is to create the records and share the records. And I was told, please send me the record you have created, which I have done. I never heard from the authorities. So unless these people, the perpetrators, are known to the powers that be, why cannot there be justice? That's the least we can do. And in, in a situation like this, can you encourage somebody to become a journalist? It's worse than becoming a soldier. Um, Mr. I, I think nobody gives any kind of... I mean, freedom is not offered to you on a platter. It's something people have died for, people have strived for. Strived for. Um, a lot of, there's been so much of sacrifice. I'm not asking people to be foolhardy. But I would, people, would want people to be honest to themselves, have a conscience, think about the other person. It's simple. Don't think beyond, don't think legal, don't think you know, about big structures and structural adjustments. 
think of yourself as a citizen. If you see some injustice, speak up. I know it comes at a price, but if you don't do it as a society, governments generally don't take notice of silent majorities.